Hello and welcome to the 2022 Festival Update. So what's going on? I'm going to start with today, which is the 1st of December. So there is the Hartney Whitney Christmas Markets in the High Street. It's beautiful. It runs from about 4 to about 8 o'clock. I think the whole High Street, Street is filled with markets and they have sand to their fairground rides. There was a nice mulled wine and mince pies and things. So it was a really nice trip out. Oh, all the shops are open. So all those little sweet shops, organically speaking and stuff, are all open for you to go and peruse. So what else is going on in Hartney Whitney? There is the illuminations at West Greenhouse. So they're open the whole season I think they've only shut a few days you have to have a look at the listings they're also doing a pantomime of Aladdin they've got um, wreath making workshops they've got carols they've got dances all sorts going on there so have a look at that that's a lovely one to do there is also markets going on in Farnham there's the Winchester Christmas markets that are also going on and um, the Rural Life um, Living Museum they've got all Christmassy themed and they've had markets and things I know that the Christmas light switch on is still to happen on Frimley I think that's this weekend and while we think about Frimley, the Jingle Jog. Get your tickets for the Jingle Jog. It's on the 11th, which is the Sunday. I think that's the 11th, isn't it? Get there for about 8.15, 8.30 in the morning at Frimley Lodge Park. Get your tickets um, early and then you can go get your number. Head down and there's literally hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of Santas. And you each get given this. So can you imagine how much fun that is? I've done it the past three years with the kids and they love it. Hundreds of Santas with jingly bells. It's great fun. There's also a Santa fun run in Farnborough. Um, other family things to do is the Go Ape sessions in Alice Hot Forest. With Go Ape, they do the nighttime sessions and the daytime sessions. So at nighttime, you get glow in the dark wristbands and they get go off in the, um, the challenge center. Legoland and Chesington have also got their Santa um, sleepovers going on. So you can go and have a sleepover in the hotel. So that's quite good fun. Um, Clip and Climb in Places Leisure in Camberley is open. Um, so I think it's about fifteen pounds, and they run till quite late in the um, in the evening most days. And yeah, you can just pop down and do some Clip and Climb. They've also got um, roller and um, roller skating going on, and there's a little soft play in there as well, right next to the cafe, which is quite handy. Um, Go Jumping is also in Camberley and this is, used to be called Gravity Force and they've got loads of Christmas themed stuff going all through the season. They've got Send Sessions, they've got Toddler Sessions, they've got Discos, they've got Friday Night Takeovers. Uh, what else have they got? I can't even think. What's the throwing one? Dodgeball. They've got Dodgeball on a Tuesday night and they do a number of different fitness sessions as well, all on the trampolines. Funny Bones Comedy Club is running in Autumn. There is the Yately Christmas Trails and Christmas Lights. So Keith Woodward down in Yately, he dresses up his household beautifully, it was all to music. And they've got a whole trail going around there, um, all the way around the village. So you can go and have a look at all the pretty lights. Wildmore Heath are doing their um, Christmas tree sale. So when they're doing their conservation work, they chop down some of the trees that they don't want in that particular place and then they sell them off. Other conservation work, I know that there's a free wreath making session in Edinburgh Country Park run by the Thames Valley Basin team and you have to look at the, the dates for that. There is also the Ash & Co Christmas workshops so these are woodworking workshops so you can do things from like making little trees or you can make Christmas characters. They've even got as animatronics so imagine little elves moving up and down and they've got flying um, superhero dogs. They have um, crossbow making courses they've got some awesome ones they start for about 15 pounds really good value for money it's a lovely thing to do with it i've done the crossbow course with my 13 year old and then i've done pretty much all of the other courses we love them there is also the christmas trails going on around the national park so the hatchlands trust and the vine i know they're all doing some and um, the shed are having a festival in down by Hogmore Enclosure, so they're doing loads of stuff over in Hogmore Enclosure. So go and look at the Dead Water Valley Trust website for that. Um, Row Hill Nature Reserve on a Sunday are doing a cream tea, and they are also doing a starlight walk. So you can have a look for more information about that. There's some candle lit carols in Guildford. In Guildford, I've also seen some lantern display things going on. So I have to, I can't remember. I just remember that's in my head. So go and have a look at that. So what else is going on? So let's look at some holiday camps. So Boogie Pumps in Farnham and also in Camberley are running holiday camps. And these are kind of street dance slash ballet slash 
um, all different types of dancing styles. They normally run nine to three, for like four to 12 year, year olds ish. Um, and they, yeah, they run throughout the holidays. There is also Demeric Dance, they're doing a Christmas dance workshop. Again, it'll be street dance and ballet and tap and all sorts. Playball are doing two types of holiday camps. They're doing one for two year olds, which is a, about an hour and a half, I think. It's quite a short one. And then they're doing a slightly longer one for the like four to maybe nine ish year olds. And again, this isn't just football, this is tennis, squash. Not well, not be not squash, but tennis and football and rugby, all sorts of ball activities. There is the home education workshops run by the Forest Approach, which is in Yately, and they're also doing Christmas workshops and Sen workshops as well. And um, Yem are doing two types of holiday camps. They're doing one which is like a Christmas party, and they're doing one which is a panto in the day. And these are running in Fleet. What else is going on? So Peekaboo Play Cafe in Compton, which is kind of near Farnham area. They're doing a toddler Christmas party. They're doing festive stay and plays um, and loads of different kind of handsy on activities. Monkey Music are doing a Christmas holiday workshop in Hartley Whitney. Theatrical Glow Century Classes are running a number of things over the next few weeks. Acorn and Forest... Uh, Acorn and Oaks um, workshop is running in Hartley Whitney with the um, Forest Approach. There's baby music and classes with Busy Lizzie. There is Elf workshop, toddler Christmas party, story time with Santa, all running at the Peekaboo Play Cafe in Compton as well. There's a toddler friendly Christmas sections sessions running in the Lookout, which is in Bracknell. It's got a big outdoor area, but they're, yeah, they're doing some toddler specific sessions over Christmas. There is also Christmas baby, toddler and preschool rock cafe running with heartbeats in Frogmore. And um, if you know where Frogmore is, it's kind of between Camberley, Yately and Farnborough, that kind of area. And there's also um, the, obviously the Christmas mini maker workshops that you can do as a family. So shows we have got this weekend in Crowthorne, there is a so what is it? It's the Sleeping Beauty Panto. It's, we're going to this one. It's running Saturday. I think it might be Friday, Saturday and Sunday. Or just Saturday and Sunday. But that's in Crowthorn with the cats. There is Santa Saves Christmas, which is running in Guildford. There is Beauty and the Beast at Camberley Theatre. They're also running a Sen session. There is Panto, a review, and Treasure Island in Purbright. We've got a special, a special relaxed performance of Cinderella for those with Sen in order shot. Jack and the Beanstalk Panto is running with pa pumpkin pantos in Alton and Borden. Um, and then obviously you've got the caroling and the pantomime running at Hartley Whitney at West Green House. And also their um, swinging and, and swing dancing and stuff. Have I got everything? I think I've covered most things. Anything I haven't talked about is the free stuff. So I know obviously there's a, the festive stay and plays in Yately Cambly. And I know a lot of the Cambly... Um, Yately, sorry. I know a lot of the libraries in Surrey, Hampshire and Berkshire are running warm hubs over this period. Some of them, I believe it's Fleet and Aldershot, are also providing hot water. So if you want a hot drink there, I've listed all of the um, food banks and community um, pantries that I can find and all of the free food and um, warming up places I can find as well. I know that the libraries are running not just events for kids but they're also running craft sessions and reading book clubs and they're trying to set up social hubs for um, grown-ups and seniors as well. Um, so yeah have a look through the if you go to any of the um, groups the Facebook groups you will find for example um, Farnham local families or Camberley local family events you find your town you go to the pinned post you will find the list of everything to do and then you'll also find a link to the pdf version and on there you'll find a really detailed free and low activity low cost activities for your area and it will include any of these food banks and things that I can find on there because I know it's really um, difficult time for so many people in there and there's so many free activities and um, from wreath making to construction clubs to all sorts so do take a look and if you think I've missed something do drop me a message and I'll try and add it in if I can I hope you have a fantastic festive season whatever it is you're celebrating this um, month because I know there's lots going on um, and I'll see you soon Bye bye <laughs>